Hi Scorpios, so who goes to the extended? I'm already the extended. Okay, get ready because this is spellbound. There's a lot. We did some transit prediction when it's gonna manifest um, and how, what months I mentioned there. But this is for someone who feels connected soulfully, okay, to the person that you are in distance with. You know what? You gotta watch the YouTube instead of me giving the summary already. But I'm already at the extended. Okay, I use I use all my you know the works. I gave you the works. Okay, top shelf. I did top shelf reading for you there. Okay, so watch me in extended and watch your YouTube first. I'll see you there. has turned to sand a place with no start and no end in my mind i see clear water Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. We're gonna do something a little bit different. If Tito Boy has a fast talk, we have a fast tarot. <laughs> Tito Boy! <laughs> if you know who Tito Boy is. Okay, let's do a fast one first. Okay, you desire someone long distance far from you and you have so much hope that the two of you will be together. But right now, I feel the stars are lining up. Every day starts to make sense, Scorpio. We got the sun, the star card. Mm -hmm. This is divine timing, okay? Justice and the moon. This is who you deserve because this is, I feel like you are the moon. They're going to be the sun. Okay, everything is lining up in the universe. I shuffled that, guys. Mm -hmm. So everything is lining up, is in sync, okay? And I feel like it's a very masculine energy with the world card over here. Foreign person, they're about to make their move, okay? With a star card, you never give up on this person. And it can be an Aquarian. It can be a Leo. It can be a Cancer or a Libra. Okay, but I feel like this is someone who is fixed, meaning this is it for you, no one else. And you know that for sure. Okay, so deep within, you know, this is the one, Sal. Watch your divine feminine, okay? That's, I feel like that's somewhat connected. Welcome to my channel, how are you? You can ring my bell. Man, I'm really working hard for this, huh? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think it's a sage, it's a smudge. But welcome to your reading, Scorpio. Thank you very much for everybody who's purchased this. Okay. Um, it feels like, you know what? You guys are manifesting a lot because you've been putting me to work. Okay. So make sure you check out eatreadlove.me. Okay. And we are about to begin. This is how I smudge, guys. Um, so I put it in a big uh, cluster and then I just lay it there. And I just let it, you know, let it breathe, let it breathe. Okay. So, let's see what's going on with the Scorpio. You got your divine, uh, your tarot after dark yesterday. So, make sure you watch that also. Okay. Let me see here. For you right now, it's all about comfort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Travel. Look at that. Looking at different places. Sh uh, this is like a apartment, condo, house shopping, property, real estate. Um, journey is all about your vacation and taking some time out. I feel like you are not attached to any ETH, okay? You are learning to appreciate yourself. You have the courage right now to, who cares if I'm single? What's wrong with that? You know what's wrong? People in a relationship. <laughs> That's what's wrong, okay? Because they always have, they're always being a problem. The single are always striving, okay? Um, with appreciation over here, as as you learn to appreciate your weakness and your strength, I feel like you're doing amazing. Someone wants to talk to you. Um, be careful if you are opening doors to dating. There are people that you cannot trust as always. Scorpio, get deceived. Um, you're trying to be patient where? Um, you're trying to be patient with a person who's trying to make a move on you, but they're taking so much forever. Okay, so I feel like okay, I've been waiting for this person for quite some time now and they still haven't made any kind of move. Okay, I see you, Scorps. I see you. Mm. 
then let's dig in. Okay. We have so much hope in that first draw. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love, 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 love it. Okay. Let me see. I want to be next. Ah! Because <laughs> I, I want to be with my Lemurian. And then the first card is a seven of swords. Oh my god. Good thing, good thing I didn't wet my pants. Because <laughs> I know you don't want anybody lying to you. And the first card is a liar. And then there's a deceit. Hilda, Hilda. Oh my god. Scorpio, what's wrong? <laughs> I, I couldn't even grab my crystal over here. Mm. So, the person had... Whew. Okay, let's come. Okay, let's... Okay, let's bring ourselves back, class. Okay. Mm. So, the person is a liar. Okay, for sure, right here. Why are you gonna devil? Okay. <laughs> so it feels like we need more. Okay. Okay. The person that you are dealing with, I would not even trust with my lunch sandwich, especially if it's a baloney. Okay. Because <laughs> this person is a fool of lies. Okay, this person made you feel weak, scared, and you know how you, your weakness is? Relationship. And they know where basically your Achilles ankle over here, okay? So, this is your worst. I'm seeing it here, okay? This is the worst of the worst that someone can do to you. Lie to you, betray, and cheat. Oh my God. Page of Cups. And of course, okay, they know how to work you. Sweet words, acting cute. They are cute, you know. Pedro Castro is a very attractive person. Mm -hmm. So you were seduced for sure by this person's innocence. Nine of Cups is them always trying to be that whole happy go lucky, easy going. I don't sense your energy here. I've, I feel like you went for the hills. Okay. <laughs> now they're coming to you to talk to you, but you're scared. Like I can't do this, Sal. I can't. You know, this is like a pentagram reverse. You know, <laughs> I don't know. But you feel so possessed by this person. Like, this is my weakness. When this person goes into my, like, you know, beeps you in your DM or message you on Instagram or whatever on your phone, for whatever reason, it shakes you. They're about to talk, Ace of Swords. They're about to communicate, Scorpio. I need you to really, really protect yourself from this situation. Yes, Scorpio? It's very malefic. You don't want Seven and the Devil together. Okay, ooh, no. Yo, no, okay. Um, with the Ace of Swords... Truth is about to be revealed. Okay, this smudge is really serving us. Okay, it's yerba. It's available in my website. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Two of wands. Take that as an omen. The death card. Okay. So I I see someone doing some esoteric stuff over here. This is the occult. Someone is doing what we call if you believe in magic. Mm hmm Yeah. So someone's doing magic. I'm the only one who can say magic and it's fun. Magic, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Believe in magic. <laughs> someone's doing the dance over here. Someone is sacrificing. Okay. The, this is the death card with a snake. Okay. I was watching the originals yesterday. So there is this, you know, powerful witch. Okay. Papa Tude, something like that. He sacrifices something in order to gain something. So someone here, you are the sacrifice. I'm just saying, you know, okay. You are the sacrificial lamb, okay? If you think like, oh, is it like some sort of magic cell? No, Hilda, you are the snake. You're being gutted by this person. Okay. Yes, you are, okay? You are being sacrificed, okay? With the empress, but I feel like your sacrifice, okay, is not, uh, is not, you know, it is seen by the universe. So whatever sacrifice that you have done for this person, you're gonna get a glow up with the Empress. So you can see, money will come to you. Mm-hmm. That's when you know you got sacrificed because the universe says, here, here's a payout. Enjoy. Because <laughs> the Empress here is abundance. Okay. So you you got a tragedy, but you'll get something good in return. So it's like karma flipping over, okay? 
Okay, with the hangman over here, spiritual enlightenment is what you gotten out of this. Very good. Very toxic relationship. And now you're feeling like, you know what? That whole situation made me who I am right now. Enlightened and abundant. And I look good. I look good. Okay. That's good, Scorpio. Okay. Two of swords. Okay. This is a problem because why did we leave the door open? You didn't end this. Don't lie to me. I can see it here. I didn't, I don't know, Sal. I don't know. I just felt like maybe we should just, we can still talk. Really, Scorpio. Really. Because the Ace of Swords is here. That's why they're going to talk to you. Because you left a door between this, between you and this person. I feel like in the past life. Mm -hmm, I feel like it's in the past life that you left the door open. There was no closure. Mm -hmm. Ah, Lovers, I told you. It's not over. Mm -hmm, it's not over. Your contract with this person, there was a, you know, a fine line. Okay. For me, I have fine line. <laughs> It's fine. You're welcome. <laughs> With the lovers and the two of swords. But I still love them, so. To be honest. Okay. I think I don't need a Lemurian. Okay. I need a whole mountain of crystals for you. <laughs> because with the lovers here, I feel like let's cleanse these lovers. Okay. Um, is, do you still desire them? No matter how, ma how, how... I can't use the word malefic because malefic was used by the Westerners too much in a wrong way. Malefic is just a hard, you know, kind of difficult situation, okay? So no matter how difficult the situation is, you still love them. That's a Scorpio right there. Mm -hmm. With the moon, this is Chandra, okay? This is moon in Gemini. Ooh, something's gonna happen with the moon soon. Because the first eclipse is gonna... Oh, no, it's happening in Scorpio. But I don't know. I know something's gonna happen with Gemini. We shall see, okay? But I know there's something astrological that's gonna happen to Gemini. Okay, right. anyhow... Okay, with the moon over here, with the hangman, I'll look into it. Uh -huh. um, with the moon and the hangman over here, there's going to be a Pisces also. You, no, not you, them, they keep having dreams about you. The two of you keep having dreams together. Mm, not together, but they see you and you see them. I see skies are blue. <laughs> That's not your dream though. <laughs> but I, I see that you guys are connected um, soulfully, spiritually in a different dimension. It's a very different read. Why am I getting this? Okay. <laughs> With the Ace of Wands, very passionate. You see, you got Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. All right. You see this. Okay. This is an omen from you. You got two of Wands and the two of Swords. This is an omen where someone will choose one one to communicate and talk. The door is still open between you and this person. Okay. You got the King of Swords. Jupiter goes to Aquarius. You know what you need to do here. This is what you're feeling right now. You're not scared. Yeah, Scorpios are not scared ever. For them, it's just like, you can kill me, but I'm gonna come back for you. <laughs> it feels like Liam Neeson kind of energy. You know, I will find you. No will hunt you. You know, that kind of taken kind of energy. Very strong. Even to the graveyard, the death card over here. It feels like you're seeking justice, not revenge. Revenge is different. Because revenge, you want to do something bad. Justice, for you, it's just like, you will see. You will love me. And you will basically either regret it or come for me. It feels like a temptation is what you're doing here. Because the devil is temptation. So if you're doing some sort of juju, or if they're doing something juju, it's about temptation to reel the person in. Okay? I do that. Spells like that under the table. We talk later. <laughs> you, I saw you. You're about to get your credit card. We don't do that, Scorpio. We don't. Okay? <laughs> Call me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll swipe it. <laughs> what do they say? Uh, you know the, the memes. Take my money. <laughs> You're all about right. Take my money, Sal. Okay. Was it really you, Scorpio, or that ex of yours listening to your reading right now, wanting you back? Because you are straight here with the King of Swords. You have Ace of the King, so you've already turned your life around. You're an Empress. You don't have a desire. You are desirable. You got me. There's a Taurus over there. There's a Gemini. There's an Aqua. There's a Scorpio. There's a Capricorn. Okay. Wow. There is no Leo. Wink. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. You are waiting for a result. You're very patient. You're waiting for their next move. What happens next? Everything is on hold. Everything is on pause. Because someone... Is waiting. I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. 
um, for everything that you need. And don't be scared about the juju. Sometimes it's just a thing that I see. <laughs> cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Okay. Tourmaline, tourmaline, tourmaline. Selenite, selenite, selenite. If you feel like you are being, okay, juju wise, okay, juju, okay. So if you feel, it's nothing to worry, okay. It's nothing to worry. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's when you need to worry. When I say don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, okay. So I'm going to continue this reading. Um, link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Um, what else? We are launching the full moon candles on the weekend. So sign up to my email list, download my app. It's going to come this weekend. And also new jewelries this Friday because Venus is ju uh, jewelries. Hi, uh, like, you know, lux luxury gemstones we have for this coming um, Friday. So do check it out. Excuse me. Uh, so let's see. As the wait is over. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Seven of Swords with the Emperor. What does it mean? You know when a person, um, I feel like they were in denial that they want to be with you. 